Time to liven up the joint. Hey guys, welcome back to the Chanel. We got a box from um, Super Hobby Genkai. I believe that's called Hobby Genkai. I'm always, always forgetting the goddamn website's name. Uh, but they finally shipped this bad boy. As you guys can tell from the thumbnail, obviously. It is my boy. The one. The only. No one better. Storm Collectibles. Baki Hama. So let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. Take him out of his packaging. I want to see if there's anything else inside. Because the last time I bought from them, they gave me a card. I forgot what it is. This time they didn't, so that is unfortunate. Uh, like they gave me some TGC card because I bought a uh, bought an SH figure art and, they, and it came with uh, a Vegeta TGC card. Um, anyway, we are unboxing the new Baki Ham, uh, Baki Hama. So this is pretty cool. I, I absolutely love this anime. I uh, believe it's a Netflix um, original, um, which means it's only really on Netflix. Um, but this anime is so freaking good. I love it. It's kind of like a martial arts anime. Uh, Baki trying to take down like the strongest people in the world and um, it's so freaking good first of all the father oh my god the father is bad guy bad guy uh, excuse me bad guy villain tier he's like top tier and when it comes down to villains uh i forgot his father's name but it's like hama hama something i forgot um his his first name but anyways the father's freaking absolutely awesome but anyways here is the packaging for bakihama it's been a while since i bought a store collectible i believe the last one we bought was lu king's uh mortal kombat store collectible so we haven't bought a storm in a while so here is baki love the box art it has baki right there in the front a whole bunch of letters words in um Japanese. Here is the logos, the, the the bottom of it. Then it has uh, Baki on the side, which is also a pretty badass logo. And then here is the back of the box uh, that has his poses and every crazy thing this figure could do. Baki shouldn't really come with too much accessories uh, because he don't really like use too much accessories basically. In the anime because like i said most of it is just really like martial arts so it'll be interesting to see what's in the box so i'm pretty sure they're gonna make up for it with the head with uh different heads which is basically four right here in the back five if it's including the default head that he comes with it so let's go ahead and take a look of him outside of packaging but before we unbox this figure i want to say that you can leave a like on this video and subscribe if you guys haven't already i appreciate every single person that does and don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss another unboxing just like baki so let's go ahead and get straight into this unboxing i can't freaking wait to get into it so let's go ahead and do that okay guys so when you take out baki hama outside of packaging this is what he looks like so i think i misspoke um i mean the box itself showed that there's four different head sculpts but i'm guessing um or five one five different ones but i guess i guess they included the normal default head so it's really four uh, that's inside the packaging. But anyways, uh, this is how he looks when you take him out of packaging. And you could just tell this is a Storm Collectibles action figure. Because it has the cuts right here on the chest area. Um, that goes towards the back. Uh, which is always kind of weird. Especially for a um, action figure that is shirtless. Uh, because obviously you don't want it to look like it's... Uh, and, you know, it, it needs to look perfect um, because obviously it's a shirtless, so it's a part of his body. You don't want it to make it look like his upper chest area is not lined up with his stomach. That just wouldn't make sense. 
So that's the only part that I kind of don't like that it's not really that seamless. And obviously since it is Storm uh, Collectibles, it's very rubbery on the top area while the bottom area, it's, it's a little bit plasticky. Um, so other than that, I mean, it does look pretty good though. That's all I gotta say. And speaking of pretty good, let's talk about this head skull because, oh my God, that definitely looks like Baki. Um, up close, I freaking love it. I think I think they nailed even like the mole on his on, on his upper lip, uh, going out to the eyes. Love this head scalp. I think this might be like the most perfect head scalp, um, from from it. So let's see if there's another one that could top this one. If because if there's not, I'm just gonna use this one. Um, but I would prefer to have my Baki kind of like in a pissed off mean looking kind of face um because obviously you know he's a martial artist so i would like to have him in a fighting pose and he has his uh classic red shorts uh with the white ribbon i guess on top um going down to his legs the knees also too i mean it's double double jointed but the knees kind of do look kind of weird just a little bit uh, but it's not anything too crazy. I love that his thighs are freaking massive. Look at the back of his hamstring. Wow. That is massive. This guy is absolutely jacked. And then he has a big, gigantic foot. I mean, come on. Look at that. That has to be, like, if this was a normal guy, that has to be at least a good 13, close to 15 inches of foot right there. Uh, <laughs> he's freaking just gigantic. But I freaking love it. Um, even though this figure has a too close fist, which would definitely make sense, especially for a, um, for a martial artist type figure, um, or character, I should say, um, we're going to take a look at the other hands as well. So we'll, we'll replace the, the, the hands and the head. So let's go ahead and take a look at the different heads that he comes with. Okay, guys, so here is another head um, with these different hands. So this one is kind of like a closed fist as well. But this one has like the thumb sticking out. So um, not really the hugest fan of this, to be honest with you. And then here is the head. So here, I guess, I don't know what you call this head. I guess it's kind of like a uh, surprise look, basically. Like, um... I don't know what, what 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 you would call the head, but it's not bad actually. Um, but honestly, I think the the fall head. So I was looking at the different heads, and just by the look of it, I could just already tell that the fall head is probably the most is a uh, superior version of Baki. Um, so there is that. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the the other head. So uh, we'll take a look. It's kind of like a grinning head and then a screaming mouth head. Which I thought I would like, but now that I'm looking at it, uh, it's not really that good. But let's go ahead and take a look at the other heads that he comes with. Okay, guys, so here is Baki with the smiley head, basically. Uh, which, once again, I'm not the hugest fan of. Uh, and that is because I normally don't like my figures to be smiling. I like them more like in an action pose. Like them kind of pissed off, so... Uh, and I'm not saying this is bad. I just uh, just saying that I'm not really the hugest fan of smiley faces. I don't know. I don't know. It's just a preference for me. Um, so there's that. He does have gripping claw hands, is what I like to call them. You know, so he can grip somebody's head as well. But uh, yeah, it's not bad. But like I said, just not for me. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the last and final head sculpt of this unboxing so let's go ahead and take a look at that okay guys so here is the last and final head scalp of this unboxing which is the kind of like the screaming face and um honestly i i'm just you know it's not bad it's not that it's bad it's more the fact that like i don't know i'm just not feeling it as much to be honest with you i mean it's hard to really tell it's baki just by this by by this look i don't know I don't know if that's just me or or what, but I, like I said, I just stopped feeling it as much. Uh, I don't I don't know what what is it about it that I'm not really not liking it. It's, it's really hard to say. 
Um, but like I said, I'm just not really going to use it. So what I'm going to do is probably most likely uh, use the default head that he comes with um, as well. Also, too, I, what, what most likely what I'm going to use is the gripping claw hand, basically, and a closed fist. To make it look like he's a, definitely in an action pose. He's getting ready to grip some stuff. Because he is a martial artist. So I definitely want to get him in a martial art type of pose. Um, at the end of the day. So yeah guys. I mean that is pretty much it. When it comes down to this unboxing. Um, outside of that. I mean. There's not anything too crazy. With this uh, figure. Um, so let's go ahead and wrap this bad boy up. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did enjoy this, please consider liking and subscribing. Helps the channel out tremendously. Keeps it motivated. Keep doing more unboxings just like this one. Honestly, I think I'm kind of spoiled when it comes down to these action figures, um, especially with the figure arts and Mayfex. It's because, you know, they give you they give you something with it. You know, you got these cool accessories when it comes down to... Um, to Mayfex or, or, or yeah Mayfex. Um, Mayfex is the accessory is not really that crazy um, but figure arts you know they give you these cool effects of whatever um, and then you know when it, sometimes I forget um, uh, especially like like for instance the Star Collectibles I was trying to pull off the head um, or the hair off of him because I'm used to just changing out the face plates and then um, then I I realized I'm like oh wait hold up I'm gonna actually break it I'm gonna mess it up so then um because I looked at the other the other heads and realized that you're just popping off the head and just putting it back in so uh, it's just little stuff like that it's just actually uh it's actually funny you know because I tell I'm like you know you're collecting a line so much line there's so much stuff that's coming to you and you know so you're stuck on this particular two lines. That kind of like are similar to each other. So then when you go back to like Storm Collectibles or DC Multiverse. It's just completely different designs. Um, manufacturing all that stuff. So um, <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. But anyways guys. That's pretty much it. Honestly this figure is not that bad. You know. So I, I really love it. Um, I love the, um, the action poses that I'm going to be able to get with him. And like I said it's a martial artist. So um really enjoy it um also if you haven't watched the anime i highly suggest watching the anime it's a pretty good freaking anime um one of my favorites out there right now uh when it comes to especially when it comes out to modern animes you know sometimes these modern animes just don't click with me a uh, baki kick click with me just instantly because for first of all i'm a huge martial artist fan um mixed martial artists in general specifically ufc uh sometimes bellator um but uh I, I just love it so you know this anime clicked with me right from the beginning uh, but anyways i hope they make the ogre because that would be freaking awesome which is baki's uh father um uh, and then make all the, all the other characters but it is store collectible so it'll probably it'll probably be a while before they ever get to them um and it depends how well this figure sells uh, but other than that, I mean, he, you know, it was pretty uh, difficult to find him on different, uh, different sites. So I'm pretty sure, you know, he's selling pretty well. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it. Always stay tuned for the next unboxing because you never know what's going to be a box on the channel. We definitely got some bigger and better stuff on the way. Highly suggest going back and checking out some of my previous videos. We unboxed tons of SH figure arts or Mayfex, some that you might be interested in. Some that even if you're not interested in, you might want to check it out just to, just to have probably like a, uh, you know, a, a figure that looks pretty cool or... A figure that you could put in this display or whatever so i highly suggest going back and checking them out when you unbox some recent chainsaw man figures um what else what else anything i can remember on top of my head uh do, 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 do. we unbox our uh, naruto figures some message figure arts a whole bunch of stuff so please go back and check them out but anyways that is pretty much it you guys have a wonderful amazing day and see you guys they don't call me the main man for nothing.